What's up you guys, it's Michael here again. In this video, we're gonna talk about the recently announced coronavirus stimulus package. I'm gonna keep it brief and we're gonna break down what do you need to know. So this is the second coronavirus package that has been announced recently and it's set to be passed by Congress, but now currently it's being backed up because President Trump want to change the stimulus package from $600 all the way up to $2,000. Where it's beneficial in that, it will depend on whoever receives the stimulus package. So what happened is the Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell and other congressional leaders have reportedly reached a compromise that clears the way for votes on a new coronavirus package, including a second round of direct aid payments to Americans. And yes, it is the second wave of stimulus checks. So what it's breaking down is how does it impact you as an individual itself? Because the second stimulus package will provide you the first part is stimulus checks. If it gets passed, assuming it will be $600 per person, instead of $2,000 as suggested, the size would benefit and would be reduced for people who have earned $75,000 the preceding year. It is also similar to the last round of stimulus checks. The stimulus checks will provide $600 per person, including adults and children meaning a family of four would receive $2,400 up to a certain amount of income earned within the family. So second, what you need to know is that Congress will also extend the unemployment benefits up to $300 per week, which could start as early as two days after Christmas, December 27th in 2020. So for these people who are unemployed or have lost their jobs during the pandemic, then they have to contact the Employment and Development Department and make sure you apply for the unemployment benefit. So the last thing you don't know, within the stimulus checks, this $300 per week could cover up to 11 weeks of unemployment, at least through until March 14th. The reason why currently right now that President Trump wants to boost it up to two grand because $600 one time payment is not going to be enough to cover most people who have lost their jobs and or got a pay cut during this unprecedented time. So what can you do? There is basically only one thing you can do is slash your spending. So whatever you don't need or basically is not a necessity such as, you know, buying new clothes, you got to slash your spending and cope with whatever amount you can make. You also, you have to trim your cost for insurance. If insurance is still charging you arm and leg, it's time for you to ax them, just remove them. And also you have to refinance your mortgage. That is all. I will see you next time on channel. Peace.